left on the beat, you just a bad wanna be. She like it how I move. Yeah, I'm in my back, she in hers too. Don't get confused. I'll send a nigga to God, it ain't no rule. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, CC, and welcome back to my channel. And if you read the title, then you know that today we're going to be getting into a q a and before i get into the video i need y'all to make sure y'all like comment and make sure you are subscribed please and if you want to be generous go ahead and hit that bell for whenever i drop you get notified and i would really appreciate that go ahead and jump into the video i got my food so i'm gonna be eating this is just um some questions i put on my story if you're not followed, my Instagram is some like CC. Same as my YouTube. Everything is linked in the description box. So let's let's get into it. Hopefully y'all ask some some cool questions. So my first question I got was, how is it like to start your YouTube channel? And I would say starting my YouTube channel, it was fun. Like I enjoyed it um just filming being in front of my camera it was super fun doing my makeup my first youtube video was like eight months ago y'all should definitely go tune in if you haven't but that was my first youtube video and it was so fun it wasn't stressful it was um it wasn't really planned either but it was like it was cool i liked starting my youtube um the next question i got is what would you what made you want to do youtube and who is your motivator so um i would say a few different people made me want to start youtube i always got like you should start youtube you got a nice personality um people love my goofy side so people always wanted me to start a youtube channel but my best friend is my biggest influence and my motivator um on doing youtube because i just watch her grind so hard and and get it out the mud with this YouTube and this influencer shit. And I got a goal for us. And I want us to be at the top of our game. And just do this shit together, you know, because that's my bitch. Period. The next question I got is, when did you start liking girls? Why would y'all ask me that? Okay. So, <laughs> I would say I started liking girls. Um, I always felt like... I liked girls in a way, but I like I started seriously liking girls in 2020 after I graduated. You know, I graduated around the pandemic and we was all trying new shit. I know I know a few people who popped out with some babies that said they was never gonna have a baby. But we was all just trying some new shit. So I mean shit, I just started liking a girl. I started talking to a girl. I got into my first real relationship in 2020. Real girl. So, y'all, 2020 was dangerous, okay? So much shit. Okay, boys or girls, um, I'm bisexual. I would say I'm bisexual. I guess you can call it that, cause, but I prefer girls over boys. Um, when. When you had, when did you have your first girl on girl experience? My first girl on girl experience was in 2020 when I first started talking to girls. Um, I had my first girl on girl experience and it was fun. Once you eat cat, you never go back. Yeah. What is something you have to have? Like something you can't live without? Something I can't live without? Um, My phone, I would say my phone. That's a boring answer, but like that's literally facts. Like I just can't be without my phone and I just can't. Um, and my eyebrows, my eyebrow pencil. If I don't have my eyebrows, I could have no makeup on, but if my eyebrows not done, I'm just gonna look like a naked bird. So that's one. Some goals you set for yourself. Some goals I set for myself. Um, a goal I set for myself this year 
before the year ends is I'm going to learn how to be content and okay. But I want to learn how to be content and okay with being alone. And when I say being alone, I mean no companionship, no friends, no family, just me, CC, just me by myself. Um, I live alone. Um, this is my first real time actually living alone by myself in my own home, paying my own bills. I've had a first apartment, but I wasn't by myself. So now I'm really like living by myself day to day by myself. So that's one goal I set for myself is to really learn how to be okay with being alone. Um, another goal is to stop procrastinating. Like That's one of my biggest problems. I procrastinate a lot. So that's a goal. Another goal I set for myself. That was a really good question. Um, another question is, how do you feel about Girl Code? I'm heavy on Girl Code. Um, if you don't believe in Girl Code, then you're weird. I stand on that 100%. Girls should always stick together because we girls, why wouldn't we want to stick together? Okay, what is some advice you give us young supporters? Um... Stay in your bag and, and focus on what matters to you. That's some advice I would say. Focusing on you, especially as a young, black, independent woman, you have to have goals for yourself and you should want to be that girl. And becoming that girl is knowing who you are, being true to yourself and never let anybody tell you different. Period. Then I got celeb crush, Kalani. That's my crush, but my girlfriend is um, Carisha. That's my babe. Everybody know, everybody know. It's a known fact that that's my babe. I love the fuck out of her. Sally, y'all like nachos? Is it called, it's a taco, Sally. Mm-hmm. And we got that. D'Angelo playing in the background. If you know, you motherfucking know. If you don't, you too young for this channel. Another question is, how old are you? I'm 20. I'll be 21 March 7th. Stay tuned. Because it's a lituation every year for my birthday. Y'all better act like y'all know. Are you psychic in any way? I'm not. Um, well, I have intuition. I feel like women should always listen to their intuition because your intuition is never going to lie to you, ever. If you think that person is fucking you over, you better start digging, baby, because they definitely fucking you over. Zodiac sign. I'm a Pisces, baby. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> That's the best sign. Well... I don't know what the best sign is, but I know the worst sign, and that's Sagittarius. <laughs> the worst sign I've ever came across is a Sag. That's the worst sign I've ever came across. Like, y'all be on some other shit. I don't know why, but y'all be on some other shit. Do you want children? No. Favorite song, um, I have way too many favorite songs just to pick, um, but I can say a few of my favorite artists would be like Lauryn Hill, D'Angelo, I love Music Soul Child, um, for sure Solange, Kehlani, um, I love Flo and Tree, y'all, I'm really like a neo soul type of girl, I may not even seem like it, but I love neo soul and R and B. That's my favorite genre. That was the next question, but neo soul and R and B is my favorite genres. Yeah. How many pair of shoes do you have, girl? Too many. Um, I stopped buying shoes a year ago because I realized they up the price on everything, and it's just too much. So I just stopped buying them. Do you have any pets? Come here, Kana. I have a dog. His name is Ken Corey. Come here, boy. This is my dog. His name is Ken Corey. Um, I am a single mother, but this is my baby. And he's bad, but he loves me. It's the biggest lesson you've learned this year. My biggest lesson I learned this year was 
to stop expecting me out of other people and to treat people how they treat me. Like if I had it in me, I really treat people how they treat me because that's really what I hurt myself all the time because I allow people to do shit to me that I wouldn't think about doing to them. So that's the biggest lesson I learned and standing on that because fuck everybody. Okay, first heartbreak. That's not a question, but um, my first heartbreak, my first real heartbreak is I would say I was talking to this boy for like a year. Um, and we was really, you know, doing the nasty and all of that stuff. And I wanted to be with him and he did not want to be with me. We would go on dates. We did everything together. I was in high school, he was in college. So, of course he was doing him, but you know, my little young, dumb, and delusional ass wanted to be with this man so bad. <laughs> he did not want to be with me. <laughs> I had asked him like, why you don't want to be with me? Like, why? We do everything, we just don't have the title. Like, I want you to post me, I want you to do all of that. Excuse me, and he basically told me well, I'm just not ready for that. You know how to hit you with the, I'm not ready for a relationship. Blah, 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 like, be fucking for real. Who would be your ideal partner? Um, I don't have a person per se, but it would definitely be someone who genuinely loves me and accepts me for the person that I am, flaws and all. Someone who cares about me, my family, the people closest to me. Someone who's patient, someone who's open-minded, someone who is kind and in the opposite for me because I like I like to see and, and adventure and explore new things you know someone who can teach me some things that I may not know because I, I think I know everything and I've been through everything so I would say that for sure someone who is loyal someone who loyalty like heavy on the loyalty like I'm so heavy on the loyalty and I don't even have to do with cheating that's just you being loyal to me as a person you should want to be loyal to me if you're my person. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that would be my ideal person. Have you ever been in trouble with the law? Um, people called the police on me before for fighting, but that's it. I've never been in trouble with the law. Baths or showers, showers. Um, I take a bath like once a month, I mean, What color socks are you wearing? White. That's gross, but that's the color how do you feel about social media presence i think your social media presence is extremely important because especially in these days well i won't say extremely it just depends on the person you know like do you want people to think you you just a rat and you out here doing this this down the third or you might not care you know i mean like i said it might just depend on the the person so i want this why is it so hard for me to get this? Flowers like this? <sighs> Ooh, nobody loves me. Are you single? Girls, single like a painter. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I've been single for three months. I was in a toxic relationship for two years. And I've been single for three months, but I have been detached for a good month now. Um, so yeah, I am single. I'm I'm not ready to mingle. I don't want no relationship. Um, majority of the times, I don't even be wanting to talk to people because people are so weird. Like being single is not for me. I'm a relationship type of girl. I like being in a relationship, but I'm learning that everyone doesn't deserve a relationship out of me because uh, everyone is not deserving of my presence. And that's the same for you. Everybody ain't deserving of your presence. So, how tall are you? I'm 5'6". Some people say I'm 5'5". Five five, but I say I'm 5'6". How do you feel about cheating? Um, I answered this question already in my previous girls talk with my best friends. But I feel like if you cheat on someone, you're insecure. You don't love yourself. You couldn't love that person if you feel like you have to put put yourself into someone or open your legs to someone else to make you feel better or to make you 
get revenge. If you have to take those drastic measures to make yourself feel good, you don't love yourself. All tea, no shade. Okay, y'all. Um, that concludes this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and support the girl. Because, you know, women love women. We all supporting each other. Let's, let's get the job done, baby. Thank you so much to anyone who contributed and helped out with the questions. And I will see you guys in the next video.